What's going on, happy people? I am Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and I am late to the game. It's December 5th right now, and I have yet to be duck hunting here in the States. Now, earlier this year, I did go out to Argentina and had probably the most amazing hunt of my life. If we were hunting dove, ducks, and Perdiz. And in today's video, you're gonna see some all new, never before seen footage of that trip. But at the same time, I'm getting ready for this year's duck hunt here in the States. So there are a million different guns and ammo combination. But this is what I shoot. It's very dependable and it works perfect. It's a pointer, Arista, semi-auto. It's all Cerakoted and it's laser etched. So it's beautiful and it's very effective. This is my ammo. Typically, I either shoot the fours, which are the fast steel 2.0, or the sixes, which they call fast steel. Very easy to figure it out. When it's dark and you're in a rush, you look, oh, the black ones, that's number fours. The red ones, those are number sixes. And depending on what ducks you're trying to hunt, any big duck, I shoot number four. The smaller ducks, I shoot number sixes. It is so important to pattern your gun. You wanna know where you're shooting. It's like most people sight in their rifle, but they spend very little time patterning their shotgun. Now, I'm shooting this number six fast steel. First target is 20 yards, second shot is 40 yards. Let's see what it looks like. Now, let's go see. The first shot. This is a huge problem with people. When you aim, lots of times you shoot high. I was aiming because I'm like, oh my gosh, everyone's watching. And as you can see, my pattern is high. Now check this out. This is 40 yards. And it's a pretty nice pattern there. I mean, you imagine that duck flying through here? He's going down. Now here we go with our number fours. I, I just tried to shoot much more instinctual then versus aiming. Now, look at that. Much better. I mean, it still was a hair to the left, but much, much better perfect pattern density I mean it doesn't get much better than that at 20 yards so you imagine when those birds are coming around you know what that pattern looks like wait 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 and in your mind you're imagining how big of a pattern you have make a great shot bird goes down there you go this is 40 yards and as you can see I I took and put a new a new target on here. 40 yards. I mean, that's all. I mean, what more do you want? Oh! All oh, triple. <laughs> all right. When you come back to my lodge, or probably yours as well, you take your own clothes off and you clean up all your own gear. But down in Argentina. The service was insane. And the staff here is just remarkable. It's like the most kind, wonderful people ever. I'm a maniac. <laughs> and you'd show up back to the lodge and the ladies would take your waiters and wash them all down. Next thing you know, they're passing out glasses of wine and hors d'oeuvres. It was a different kind of cool, but it was something I'll never forget. If any of y'all are hunting this year, check out the new Kent Fast Steel 2.0. If you've never shot it, just buy a box of it and shoot it one time and then get back with me. Once you were done with that morning hunt and came back, got all cleaned up, had your breakfast, then you had an option. You could either go D hunting in the middle of the day, or you can head out on a dove hunt. 
me personally, I love the Perdiz. Anytime you come down here, make sure you have a good case for your gun. Just because you throw the gun in the back of the truck, you, you don't want it getting beat up. That's a pointer over and under 20 gauge. I just put a got -a grip cheek pad and finger grip on it. This morning when we were duck hunting, I shot so many times that you start to get a, a sore cheekbone. Because when you're shooting properly, you stay down on the gun. And what happens is if you stay down on it and shoot enough times, you start getting a sore cheek and it, it starts causing you to take your, start shooting off the gun. So if you put that cheek pad on there, it takes all the recoil out of your face and you stay down on the gun well. Yeah, I can't see this one, but close. Okay, so the dog's on point right here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna walk up with them, close my gun, keep my finger on the safety, and I'm looking. We know the bird's out here somewhere. The dog's smelling of him. He's coming to you, Mr. Dwight. nice shot so we got to come up with a good story like well it was kind of slow we didn't really see much <laughs> you know a good dog handler when they carry a dog bowl and fresh water with them. To me, it's as much fun watching this dog work with his handler. Shooting the birds is just like the icing on the cake. My real enjoyment comes from watching my buddy shoot, the dog work, the handler, and we're seeing this whole new terrain hunting for a bird that we would never have the opportunity to hunt in South Florida or anywhere in North America. So the only thing better than shooting the Purdy is eating them. We cleaned them all up, real easy to clean, a lot like a quail. And then the ladies made like the best dish I've ever had. It was just um, phenomenal. So she's gonna take some green pepper, red pepper, onion, and bacon. So she's got all of her kebabs prepped and ready, puts a little bit of olive oil on that hot skillet, and she makes sure that it's super hot because she wants to sear it. Look at that. Beautiful caramelization. It just looks so rich and moist and delicious. It's like pheasant, but it's even sweeter than pheasant. It's just got such a lovely flavor. So is your mouth watering like mine? Because that was delicious. Chef Suli is a magic woman in that kitchen. Now, if you didn't go per D hunting, you could go on a high volume dove hunt where the farmers are begging you to get as many as you can because the dove are like locusts. If you like to dove hunt, Argentina is, there's nothing like it. You stand there and it's, it's mind blowing how many you see. When you come down here like this, it's very important to come on a dove hunt first because you're able to really get a feel for your gun. Right here. Got him. Okay, there's one. Let's. Two. Is. There is an unlimited amount of dove in this area. No matter what way you look, there's dove coming. 
And not only do hunters, they bring in an economic stimulus to the area, they also help the farmers because if they were to go unchecked, these birds would multiply into a point where it would be a biological disaster. Literally, the fields would be crawling with dove, and then disease would take over, and you would have massive die-offs of them. So, as always, hunters are a huge benefit to the ecosystem. This is Juan, and I, I just asked him, how do you clean them the best way ever? So if you're a dove hunter, check this guy out. Show us. Watch what he does with his thumb. Come get close. He pulls the crawl down. This, then with his thumbs, he just pushes the breast open. Grabs it, peels it right back, takes two seconds, uses a knife, cuts it right there. Done. Perfect. When you come back, the birds are all clean, and then these ladies start cooking. So she's gonna take some butter on the skillet. This is just a cast iron skillet on top of a, a propane flame. Yeah, buddy. This is what happens when you're filming. Next thing you know, they, they smell all this good food and everyone yeah. just starts showing up. This is Mr. Chris. This is Chris Wisecarver. I met him about 10 years ago, hunting with all the guys from Burris Optics. He owns sportoptics.com. And this guy is the epitome of cool, man. He's always just in control and a great guy. Beautiful. And about a month ago, he called and said, hey, I'm going down to Argentina, would you like to go? And that was one of the coolest invites I've ever got in my entire life. I'm so life. glad you're here. Uh, these people down here are just super special. This is such a great place. Look at this. Done. As you can tell, Argentina is amazing. Being able to sit in that blind and watch ducks decoy like you dream of seeing. Hunting behind a pointer, hunting per D's, and then shooting all the dove you've ever wanted. It makes for just the best wing shooting you can possibly imagine. That's why we made the long trip down to Argentina, to see the culture, to meet new people, to hang out with wonderful friends, and to make memories that will last a lifetime. And I have to give a huge shout out to Mr. Kiki Young and all the guys that I enjoyed camp with down there. All the ladies that took such good care of us at the Estancia, Chef Suli, and all of your friends. Man, I can't thank you enough. You're awesome. Mr. Chris Weisgarber, you are an awesome human being. And I had so much fun in the blinds at camp and even flying down with you. Everybody else, Mr. Chris has a company called Wild Wings. He's from Louisiana. He sets up amazing trips for people all over the world. Go check out his website if you want to go on a trip of a lifetime like that. I guarantee you I'm going back. But next time, bring in Sarah with me. Everybody else, I love you guys. I appreciate you. We're going.